G'day. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the correct method of setting up a pinch roller to roll cylinders and cones. The first thing I want to look at is the different parts of the roller, so you're familiar with that. So, <clears throat> uh, this is the control, uh, the controller of the machine, and basically there's uh, two green buttons, one that moves it in the forward direction and one that moves it in the back direction. All right. When we look at the rollers, this is the side of the machine that we work on. This is the front of the machine and it has two rollers at the front and they're called the pinch rollers. All right. Underneath, down here at each end of the machine, we have an adjustment that uh, we use to adjust the pinch of the rollers. Okay, so there's one each, each, one each end. On the opposite side of the rollers, we have a back roller. And the purpose of the back roller is to apply pressure to the material that you're rolling, which actually forms the cylinder or the cone. Okay? A couple of key safety issues with this machine. It has rotating parts. So loose clothes can be an issue and you must keep in mind where your fingers are and, and where the parts of other people's bodies are as well if you've got someone else working with you. So the procedure for setting up this machine is pretty straightforward. We have to set the pinch and the pinch is set to the material thickness and then we have to uh, level that back roller so that all of the three rollers are parallel. So the way we do that is uh, I'm going to set it up to roll three mil plate. So I've got two bits of uh, three mil plate. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the three mil plate in to the pinch rollers. So I have to lift that roller up to put it in. And in fact, this one, I'll have to drop it down. Once I've got those plates in there, I need to adjust the pinch, so I need to lift the bottom roller up until we've got a 3mm gap all the way through. So I'm just going to adjust this end, and back it off a little bit, then bring this end up, and this end will come up a lot normally. Okay, so I right, need a little bit more pressure on that end. Alright, so we have a nice even pinch. Okay, now we're going to go around to the back of the machine. I am now going to uh, adjust the back roller so that it's level with the front two rollers. And there's two ways to do that. One is using a level and the other is iron it up. So what I do is I, I level it up with, I, with my eye and then I use a level to check. I can see that obviously it's high at this end so I'll drop this end down. Uh, and just take note, I haven't taken the material out the front rollers yet, out of the pinch rollers. So I'm just going to stand back and I'm going to look and I'm going to look at this roller and compare it to the gap. I'm going to up a little bit more there. So I think that's pretty good. The next thing I'll do is I'll go and get a level and I'll just put the level on top. Now I'm just going to use a spirit level and I'm going to put it on the top roller and take note of where the bubble is in the spirit. It's slightly at that end and it's exactly the same there. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take those packers out and the machine's ready to roll.